Hi guys, it's Jia from Hobby, and welcome to the eighth and last episode of our crochet school specials. And what a journey it has been! From choosing the right materials, to reading patterns, learning the basics, and all the do's and the don'ts. Today's topic is how to finish a project, and more specifically, how to fasten off and how to weave in the ends. Let me just grab my yarn and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All you need is your project, obviously, a scissor, and a yarning needle. And here we go, how to fasten off. Here I have my little curry project, I have come to my last stitch, and I am ready to fasten off. Now, all you need to do is chain one. I'm sure you know how to chain one by now. <laughs> and now you want to cut the yarn with your little scissor. There we go. Click. And now you want to pull it through like so. Tighten the loop, but just a little bit and then turn your work. Voila. Now it's time to weaving that long tail so it won't unravel when you wash it. If you're making a project that is simply for decorating purposes, then you don't need to secure it as much as you would if you would do washcloths or actually washcloths <laughs> or clothing or, you know, stuff that needs more washing in general. Nonetheless, we need to weave in those ends. Now what you want to do is you grab your yarning needle. Do you see how it's rounded at the end? This will prevent the needle from splitting the yarn when you pull through your work. Now thread the needle and start weaving the yarn into your work. I really like to go horizontally first, as long as my needle allows me to. And remember, do not pull it too tight. So there we go, Whoop. goes through and then move a little to the right and make your way back like this, bloop, 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 see how it goes in, this, keep on doing that. And when I'm done with uh, doing it horizontally, I would like to go down vertically and the point is just repeating the steps until you almost have no more thread left. There we go. There we go. And you just want to go horizontal again in a different row so it just looks more equal. And now I'm almost, almost, almost running out of yarn. And once you feel that you've secured it, you can remove the needle like I did. Find your scissor and tuck the yarn tight and cut close to the work. Now pull the work and you will see that the tail will hide inside your work. Now that was the easy way to do it. But if you're working on clothing, you're going to want to zigzag that tail in a few more times to make sure that the tail is extra secure. And now for one more lesson, how to wash your work. Now, if you look at the back of your yarn label, it will tell you, it will indicate how you need to wash it. If you are working with wool, I highly recommend that you wash it by hand. And I know, I know it's tiring to hand wash, but pro tip, I gotcha. Here we go, you ready for it? This little baby, no. It's really, really cool. It's a lifesaver because it needs no rinsing off. So what you need to do is simply add a little bit to your cup of plastic, whatever it is, filled with like, you know, nice little warmish water. Let it soak for 15 minutes, squeeze your project a little bit, then take out, put to hanging, and then you're done. That's it, no rinsing. That's how cool it is. And now it's time for you to really dive deep into the world of crochet. And if you need a little refresher, yeah, because you kind of forget some of the stuff that happened to me at the beginning, I know for sure. 
So if you need that little refresher of all the stitches we've been through, I have a playlist ready with all the basic techniques. So all you need to do to access it is press the little I on top somewhere, it says I from information, and I will also obviously paste the link into the description box. So yeah. All right, guys, that was all. It was a really big, big pleasure to be a part of, you know, this whole learning experience. And I hope that you will have a lot of awesome projects going on. And yeah, that was all for me, Jaya from Hobby. Bye. But I'll be back.